your KSBR Storm Team forecast. Good afternoon. It's been an absolutely gorgeous start to the work week. We've been seeing temperatures finally within that realm of normal, meaning highs in those lower 80s. For now, we're seeing a mixture of sunshine and clouds. Primarily sunny sky has been what's been holding across the Springfield area. And on top of that, we've had a nice light breeze. And probably the best part of today has been not only the break from the heat, but how low that humidity has been all day long. You notice the spread of temperatures across the Ozarks farther up to the north you go we're still holding on to some mid 70s 73 degrees probably one of the pick spots to be over in Camdenton Rolla you've climbed up to the upper 70s today but currently just sitting at 71 degrees and as far as that muggy sticky feeling that comes with summers in the Ozarks well that's all linked to the amount of moisture that's in the air which is a direct reflection of our humidity and our dew point temperatures. Now, not only has humidity been low, but our dew points today, they've only been in the 50s. And even with that cooler air that's been in place, that's been enough that it is not feeling sticky at all. That, however, I think is going to change later we get into the week. As we head toward the second half of the work week, we're not only bringing up the temperature, but you'll see a raise in the dew point. And yes, bring back that muggy feeling of a rise in humidity as well. Satellite and radar, well, it's been showing a those clouds coming and going throughout the day. You notice two disturbances up here. Both of them, as they worked its way into this dry Ozark air, they really lost speed. That's all thanks to some high pressure that's been in control and the high pressure. We can thank that for also stabilizing our atmosphere and giving us that nice light breeze. If you have any outdoor plans this evening, keep them in motion. It's going to be a gorgeous night for us. I think we'll see a few more clouds coming and going and then throughout the day tomorrow we're going to clear those clouds right out of here. We have some high pressure that's going to be pushing its way eastward and air around high pressure. It moves clockwise so not only will we be bringing in the sunshine by Wednesday but it's also going to be kicking up a little bit of a southerly breeze. When you combine those two, we're going to be watching for an increase in our temperature, an increase in humidity, and also an increase in our instability. All of that together, well, it's going to lead to the chance for some shower and thunderstorm activity moving in by the time Friday gets here. There isn't quite a good agreement right now with the models, so especially if you have outdoor plans for the weekend, it looks like Friday and yes, even into Saturday and Sunday are going to be the best opportunities for you to need to pull out the umbrella again. In the meantime, even though we do have some clouds out, uh, tomorrow you want to keep the sunglasses, the hat, the sunscreen all handy with you. And it's especially later in the week and into the weekend that you want to make sure that you have your KY3 and KSPR storm team apps ready to go so you can know if there is any lightning where your outdoor plans are going to be happening. For the rest of the evening, looking pretty nice for us as well. We're going to see those temperatures fall all the way back down towards 60 degrees, which believe it or not, our temperatures have been all over the place but 60, that's pretty normal for this time of the year. Overall tomorrow, well, that's when the warming trend kicks up. We're going to be climbing up into the mid 80s, so that's only about five degrees above what's typical and a jump of about five degrees from what we saw today. Probably one last opportunity tonight to leave the windows open before you go to bed. We'll be falling down to the 60 degree mark, have lower humidity, and one way of gauging the humidity and where the dew point's going to be, Look at the low temperatures. You notice that as those low temperatures keep going up as we head toward the end of the work week and into the weekend, well, low temperatures in the 70s usually points to a dew point in the 70s, which means it'll start to feel a little bit muggy. And on top of that, that's going to be when temperatures start climbing back up into the 90s. And we'll keep you updated as well as we head closer to the weekend for that chance for some shower and thunderstorm opportunities heading our way as well.